is JSON description more precise for image genera generation? It, yes, but not necessarily for the reasons people think. So this question is in reference to the fact that you can use something called JSON, which, what does JSON actually stand for? I should know this. JavaScript object notation, okay, which is basically, I'm not going to call it a language. It is a notation format, which allows you to give a lot more detail. So let's say you are writing an image description for the background behind me, and you might say, you might have in this JSON, this is really hard to describe verbally. In the JSON, you're going to have kind of structured instructions about what exactly is in that background. You might have like messy folders, fallen over, books, a, a misaligned, whatever it is, you're going to have a structure to it where it's very different to when we just describe what we want to see in an image, which is generally in natural language. JSON allows us to structure that in a way which it's more structured than natural language. We don't have to use full sentences, basically. It's hard to explain it without showing you an example. But what this means is some people have said, oh, this is the way you should be talking to image generation and video generation, which I agree with totally to a certain extent. It's not a magic bullet though. So some people think it's like they've cracked the code and this is they're hacking their way into the language models. Not really. You're just giving more context. You're giving more information in a much more structured way in the same way that using the prompt engineering framework helps you to communicate what it is you actually want to get across to the large language model. So using JSON, using the prompt engineering framework, using context engineering, using any of these kind of fancy sounding things is just a more structured way to get the ideas out of our head and into the computer. So it's a tool, it's a crutch for us to be able to explain better to the artificial intelligence. So I think it's very valuable. These are all useful things to do, but they're not magic. It's more for us. It's our fleshy brains because we're not very good at communicating what we actually want to see. JSON can help us to do that because it gives us a, almost like a fill in the gap, fill in the blanks kind of format to, to be able to do so much more better than if we were just describing a beautiful scene using our language, which is hard to do. That's much harder.